আউজু বিল্লাহিমশৈতানজিম বিসমিল্লাহিরহমানুরহিম আল্লাহ সাল্লি আল্লাহ মোহাম্মদি ওলা আলহি ও আসাবি আজমাইন বোল্লা জিনে থাম বেহসান ইলাউমদ্দিন মেনি প্যারেন্টস হ্যাভ ডিফিকল্টিস ইন ডিলিং উইথ দ্য টিন এজ চিলড্রেন ওয়ান ওয়ে ইস টু ইউজ মোহাম্মদ সাল্লাহাম রেকমেন্স ওয়েন পয়েন্টিং আউট ফলস টু পিপল অ্যাডালস and especially teenagers because their minds are evolved um or say developed from children's minds that they are able to think formally or what the psychologist Jean Piaget calls formal operational thinking that they are able to imagine alternative ways of doing things and alternative systems than what exists which younger children are not able to do so they question traditional ways of doing things and they can imagine their own alternatives like adults can so rather than give them um direct commands that you do with younger children and criticize them tell them this is wrong this is right so quickly um as well as just uh, point out what is wrong with them directly better to use itab which means that you point out something that is good about them first and then tell them how they can make themselves even better improve their performance even better by making a change and this is sometimes known as constructive criticism or in the teaching profession they talk about the feedback sandwich which many teachers find the feedback sandwich is as too too much because it requires you to say something positive then give your criticism and then say something else positive they find it a bit difficult so itab is a little bit less is uh, the example is given of abdullah ibn umar muhammad peace be upon him um said about abdullah ibn umar he said abdullah ibn umar he is an excellent young man but if he would do qiyamul lail that means if he would stay awake at night time and pray and uh, do another kind of a, a worship to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he would be even better person and this is the example of itab so if your child for example does not wake up early but he produces excellent results at school you can say that you know i'm very happy with the results you're producing and if you were to wake up early i'll be even happier or you would be performing even better etc um the other thing is not to ruin a good moment by criticizing or pointing out their failings or shortcomings or giving criticism at the same time so let's say your child has done excellently in an exam comes home and tells you mom or dad i got an a or i got a b or i passed this exam at that moment congratulate them and show your happiness about the good news but don't move on to then talk about their shortcomings and say i'm very happy that you passed your exam but if you were would wake up early in the morning i'll be even happier or whatever their shortcomings are not at this moment at that moment just leave it at being happy and proud of them for the good news and celebrating uh, their achievement choose a different moment to give the itab for the constructive criticism uh, i hope allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give me and you the tawfiq to act upon uh the sunnah of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in giving itab for our children especially the teenage children as well as our brothers and sisters who are have gone beyond the adolescent stage and are full adults aqulika li hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa akhir dawana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin